All right, what's up everybody? It's been a pretty crazy last month or so. Haven't uh, uploaded anything in a while. Haven't even worked on anything in a while. I uh, just had my kid and he was about five weeks early. Uh, it was a boy and we didn't know, so it was a pretty cool surprise. So I'll get him a couple bikes when uh, he's old enough to walk or run or get on a bike. So, you know, haven't had time to do anything and today it's kind of raining outside so I figured I'd do the oil change on the bike. Um, I know I said I would do a full review on the SV650, but I just haven't had the time to ride. I've barely ridden in the last month, and summer's just flying by right now. Um, my other Virago project, I've barely even touched right now. I did get my handlebar switches, um, and I'll install those at some point, but you know, I don't know when I'm going to do that. I'm in the middle of building my deck, which, you know, right when we we're building it. Uh, my wife said, oh, the baby's coming. Like, the doctors wanted to induce her. So, literally that Sunday, um, I was working on the deck. We just got the framing done, and or started, rather, and then we had to go to the hospital. I haven't been able to touch it in the last three weeks, so I'm going to work on it today, hopefully. Uh, but for now, it's pretty early in the morning on Saturday, so I'm actually going to do the oil change on this thing. It is on the rear stand, uh, just to make sure the oil levels are good and I can see it properly and drain properly. So I've never done it, but there is a drain plug right under here. Uh, I believe I can feel it here. Here's the drain plug right up here. Right about here. That's a drain plug. And the oil filter is right in here. Right here. Sorry, there's low light in here, but I don't have to take off the lower fairings or anything. So, uh, because I'm doing this in my garage, I've laid down some cardboard just in case there's some overspillage somewhere of oil. I don't want it seeping into my floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wrench. Pin plug is a 14 mil. The bike takes just about um, under three liters of oil. Just so you can have it, so you just get three little jugs. Crack it open. Okay, so I did crack it. Just hand loose now. Ideally when you do this, the bike should be warm so the oil will drain a lot better. Um, you should also loosen the fill cap to help get stuff out. You don't have to, but I find it helps it drag the oil out better. So the oil is pretty clean, it doesn't look all that dirty. Uh, like I said, the guy who bought had it before me. He barely put 3,000 kilometers a year. Um, it still has under 20. It has about 28,000 something still. I've barely ridden it since I've gotten it. Um, if you do the math, the bike's 11 years old. Whoever had it between myself, the last guy, and the guy before him, have put less than you know maybe 2,500 kilometers a season, which is not bad considering it's an 11 year old bike. So it's got very, very, very low mileage. Um, the oil, as you can tell, is pretty clean looking. Um, that's why I wasn't in an immediate rush to do this because I could see through the fill cap. It was very clean. Um, it barely looked used. He just hadn't done it for the season yet. So I'm just doing it now. Um, he did give me some of the oil because he bought all the stuff he wanted. Um, to get it done before he sold it, but he just never got around to doing it. So I'm doing it right now. Um, it's just some regular 10W40 uh, motorcycle oil. Um, <clears throat> and then he gave me the filter as well. So I know some people don't change the filter at every oil change. I think that's stupid. Um, you should just do it all the time because it's filtering dirty oil. So why would you put new oil with a dirty filter? It makes absolutely no sense for the $4 or whatever it is for the filter. Just do it. So I'm going to let that drain for a second. 
Um, I like to see it drip. I know some people will cap it right about here or very shortly, but uh, I want to get mo as much of it as possible out. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's pretty much done. It's not dripping anymore, which is exactly what I want to see. So next we're going to go ahead and loosen the oil filter. Um, hopefully it's pretty loose and I don't have to grab any special tools or anything. So the oil filter, like I said, is in there. I'm going to go ahead and try to loosen it by hand just to drop the oil. Okay, so it is on there pretty tight. I'm gonna have to get my little tool thing. Okay, so I'm just using one of these. I don't actually know what it's called. It's just like a rubber strap that attaches to in this groove and it just helps you get better leverage. Just helps you crack it just enough so you can undo the rest by hand. So as you can see, this piece on the lower fairing is busted. It was like that. I got it. So I'm assuming him or whoever did it before didn't unscrew it and probably is doing exactly what I'm doing and broke it off. So. Probably should do it, but I got some enough hands I can fit in there. Oh, yeah, that really long threaded oil filter. Okay. All right. I don't want to drop it in the pan while I'm fishing for it later. I'll try to take out as much as I can there. Let that drain. Um, make sure the gasket is on the oil filter. In this case, it is. Because the last thing you want to do is put on your new one and then realize the old one's still on there. Just double check the base, anyways. Run your finger along and make sure that there's no old gaskets or anything from previous changes. In this case, we're good. So what I'll do now though is I'm going to take the drain plug, I'm just going to clean it off, inspect it, make sure it's in good condition. In this case there's no oil shavings on it, there is a little magnet on this one at the tip there, um, kind of looks like a spark plug head almost. That helps catches the shavings, if you have any, so what I'll do now is I'm just going to go ahead and Reinstall the drain plug. Okay, so that's on. And go ahead and give that a nice tightening. I don't know what the torque spec is, but I'm just doing tight enough. I'm sure it's probably important to torque it, but I'm just looking that it's not going to leak or anything and most people can generally gauge, if you've done this sort of thing before, how tight a drain plug should be. Not super tight, but not loose enough it'll drain. If you do too tight, you'll strip the pan and then you're into a hell of a mess. So, so on this bike, I'm not actually sure if you need to fill the oil, filter with oil. Um, when I did some quick Googling, no one ever mentioned it, so I'm just going to put it on dry. 
So the filter I got with the bike, just looks like a generic one. Um, like I said, I'm putting in um, just some regular motorcycle oil. It says high performance four cycle oil, 10 to leave 30, motorcycle specific. Um, I don't think it's synthetic, but this is what the guy said he's been using uh, ever since he's on the bike for the last few years. So he just gave it to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lube the oil filter on the gasket. Big debates whether or not you should do this or not, if it's even worth it, whatever. It takes no time and honestly I don't know if it is worth it or not, but that's just the way I've always done oil changes. So I just took some of the new oil and I'm just rubbing it around the seal here. And that's all you gotta do. So not a big fuss, not a huge step. It's just what people want to do. So alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean off the surrounding area for the oil filter. Um just so I can get a nice clean oil surface. So there is still a little bit of oil coming out, but nothing crazy. Just gonna move the pan out of the way. Make a little bit more room. You should only hand tighten this, and then my hands are full of oil and a little greasy. Try to use this right to get it nice and tight. Seems pretty tight to me. But just because of weird angle, I'm just gonna give it an extra crank here with this little tool. Just to make sure. Okay, so I think let's put another quarter, not even a quarter of a turn. Put the tool, so it makes me feel a little better. All right, so you're gonna grab your funnel. So grab your funnel. Just make sure it's clean. Um, there should be a mesh, uh, a metal mesh thing in there to help prevent any things from going in there. It shouldn't go in. Uh, so this has been sitting. A little while and covered, so it's a little dusty. I'm just giving it a quick wipe down. And just go ahead and add two of the bottles. It takes just under three liters. So the two balls are definitely going in. And then after that, I'm just gonna have to look through the sight glass to make sure um, I've got enough in there. I think it's 2.9 quarts or 2.8, something like that. So this part's gonna be a little slow because it's got the mesh filter in there, but I'd rather pour it in slowly than get some particles or something in there. Seven bottles going in right now. So the sight glass looks pretty full right now, but I haven't run it and I haven't put, um, I mean the oil filter's dry so when I start it it's going to go in there, it's going to work around and stuff. So I'm just going to put a little bit more. The engine actually says 2300 mil, so I'm not really sure what that works out to be in liters, but maybe what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit in at a time, see where I'm at after I run it for a few seconds. Shit. So I'm gonna put in. Well, this thing doesn't have a sight glass, so I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna do that. So it's almost at the full level now on the sight glass. So I'll show you that right quick. Just wait for the rest of the drain out here. <laughs> So 
real quick on the sight glass. You can see that the level, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just past full and there's a little bit of a gap there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the fill cap back on. I'm just gonna give it a quick start. I'll let it run for a minute and then uh, just let the oil move around in there. see where the oil level is at. So just give it a minute um, to let the oil go back down and then I can see where the oil level is actually at. It's been sitting for a couple minutes now so it's still on the center stand which is key. So as you can see it's just under the low mark so I need to add a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So because I already ran it the filter's full, so I just need to really put in a little bit and just watch the sight glass. And you kind of want it in between the middle of the low and full mark. If you put too much, it'll be hard to shift or find neutral. So I think right about there is pretty perfect. I'm just going to actually dump a little tiny. That's it. Okay, so right there, it's in the middle of the F and the L, which is full or low, and that's exactly where you want it to be. If you put too much, the thing will start smoking. So that's pretty much all it takes to do an oil change on this bike. Pretty much any bike, really. So, just go ahead and fill this back on. That's all it is, and you're done. So realistically, if you don't wait for it to drain properly, you can do this in less than 10 minutes. So, thanks for watching.